guys, it's Sarah. It feels like a while since I've actually made a video. Like during the summer, I would make a video every single day. But I feel like it's literally been a week since I've made a video. Fortunately, not a lot of big things have happened in the fandom. But obviously, whether big or small, something is always happening. So here's the latest news that's been happening in the past. a lot about Harry and Louis on this channel, there's actually been more news about Liam recently, and it's had to do a lot with his relationship. So the first rumor is that Liam and Cheryl are having a child. So if you guys remember my last video, I was saying that there was a lot of speculation about Cheryl being pregnant, and I showed you guys a picture of her baby bump. But then after that video, somebody told me that the baby bump was actually photoshopped, and that was not real at all. So there's still no real confirmation that Cheryl's even pregnant, but obviously the media still has to say stuff about it. So TMZ tweets, Liam Payne expecting first child with Cheryl Cole. And then it says, is there another 1D kid on the way? I mean, for real, we already have Louie and his alleged kid. And now Liam's gonna have a kid? I mean, I'm sorry, but Freddy is enough. Like, seriously? Can we just deal with one baby scandal at a time? I mean, yeah, it kind of seems like Babygate could be dying down a little bit. I don't hear as much about it. But at the same time, we, we just don't need another baby in the mix. There was another post from The Sun that said, Cheryl and boyfriend Liam Payne make first appearance together since baby rumors. Cheryl is and her rumored baby daddy Liam Payne have made their first public appearance in months. The fact that they're now starting to call Liam baby daddy. Yes, Liam is a daddy, but he's not like a legit dad. The media has to get that right. But anyway, regarding these pictures of Liam and Cheryl, a lot of people have been speculating the way Liam looks in these pictures. So if you guys look at Liam in this picture, he looks very tired, maybe sick. He doesn't look very happy. He looks kind of sweaty, a little disheveled. So because we're fans, we got a little worried. Before I go into to reading other people's analysis on the way Liam looked, I would just like to state my opinion. I feel like when it comes to celebrities, they're normal people like us. They're not always gonna look happy, especially if a camera's in their face. Also, sometimes a camera angle or a camera flash does make someone look a little different. It was kind of like the Louis situation. So just because Liam wasn't smiling, it doesn't mean he was sad. Maybe he's tired. Maybe it's just a poker face. And personally, we don't know his life 100%. Maybe something happened earlier in the day. Maybe he is pissed off. But Liam is a human being. He's not always going to look happy. To an extent, I understand fans' concern because usually when Liam's papped, he looks very happy. He doesn't look like this. But then again, Liam's a person. He's not always going to look the same. So now here's some analysis of Liam. It says, okay, what's going on with Liam? He flew back from LA to London and now is going back. He literally came to have dinner in the most papped place in LA to have dinner with his girlfriend who is supposedly pregnant. He looks miserable and as if he had been crying. If you look at him closely, you can literally see that. One question is, Liam has already left Psycho and Modest, so why is he still going along with all this Babygate 2.0 shit? I swear if this is an unofficial confirmation of Cheryl's pregnancy, I'm gonna flip my shit. Plus, don't even think about telling me that he had proposed to Cheryl on that dinner date. If I see marriage or pregnancy rumors, I'm gonna flip. Well, I mean, there's already pregnancy rumors, but not really marriage rumors. Actually, wait, I think in the past there were articles saying that Liam and Cheryl might be getting married or Liam's gonna put a ring on it. So yeah, I guess technically both those things have already happened, but obviously there's been more pregnancy rumors than marriage rumors. This says, a year ago today was when RBB and SBB account was created. The reason? To debunk Louis' pregnancy rumors and to prove us that Larry was still going strong. The account is no more now. But the sheer coincidence that a year later we have Liam amongst pregnancy rumors, and what does he do? The same exact thing Louis Tomlinson was seeing doing. Louis took a flight, went out, and then flew back the next day. A year later we got Liam, whose girlfriend is apparently pregnant, and he takes a flight from LA to London on Saturday goes out to dinner with her in the most famous restaurant where he is sure to get papped and then flies back to LA the very next day. Oh, this isn't the end. Wait up, the most exciting part? Who were the first people to confirm Louis and Brianna's apparent pregnancy? Guess. Yes, Simon and his minions. Who are the people a year later to confirm Liam and Cheryl's baby? Simon and his minions. I see it. It's just a coincidence and nothing else at all. When I see that analysis, I kind of believe it a little bit more. Tell me down below, do you think that this is a coincidence or not? I mean, just the fact that we're getting the same timeline between Louis and Liam. So I find that funny that everything that Louis did regarding his baby and his relationships, it kind of seems like Liam is doing that same thing, like he's in the same boat. And Simon and his people were the same people to confirm like baby 
baby rumors and stuff. I don't know, usually similar timeline means stunt. But then again, I don't want to say that Liam and Cheryl are a stunt. I guess time will tell. If you guys watched my last video, I talked all about Harry painting his nails for that London event. And even though I said Harry painted all 10 of his nails, no, he actually left one nail out, which was his ring finger. And there was a lot of analysis on that. Some people thought that meant that Harry is taken. So him not painting his fourth nail was like an indication of that. And since it's okay to analyze, I'm just wondering why Harry would paint all his nails black except the fourth one. I feel like it has to mean something. People could say that that nail just chipped off, but do you really think that he would go to an event with it chipped? I think he would have like repainted it. And don't you think all the nails would be chipping if one chipped? I don't know. I just feel like that it looked so intentional. There was nothing on that nail. I feel like if it chipped, you would have still seen nail polish on it somewhere. But not only that, after we saw all the great pics of Harry at that event and him painting his nails, him being himself, we had to get an article about Harry hitting on a girl. And if you guys have been in the fandom for a while, you guys know that this is quite common. So this says Harry Styles locking digits with mystery girl, but still very available. So what's different about this article is that instead of them saying, Harry's a womanizer, this is definitely his girlfriend, he's going after her, he got the digits. Even though this article says that, they still say that Harry is very much single and available. And they also note that she's just a friend. So why make an article suggesting that Harry's getting digits from a random brunette when at the end of the article you say, well, actually, she's just a friend and Harry's still single. See, guys, this is an example of someone who just wants clicks. They made the title, making you interested, and then when you actually read it, you're like, oh. So the article says Harry Styles was seen locking hands with a mystery girl this weekend, but never fear Styles fans dude still single. It says the One Direction star was out in London and got snapped with the brunette, but we've learned she's just a friend. In fact, she's his manager's girlfriend. We're told the two have been friends for a while and Styles' manager was there too, just out of frame. You can hear the sigh of relief from directioners everywhere. <sighs> Yes, a definite sigh of relief. And also a sigh of, we're tired of your bullshit. So yeah, it's confirmed there's nothing to worry about. Harry wasn't even holding hands with her. I mean, why can't the media just accept that Harry can have friends who are girls? And if Harry is gay, well, a lot of gay guys have friends who are girls. Like, this isn't new. We also have an analysis post talking about Harry and Liam and tying everything together. It says, isn't it weird that Harry came to the AM launch with paint and nails, yet there are not many articles on that? but there are more articles on him with Jeff's girlfriend who he's supposedly dating. Louis is still MIA and Niall. Harry and Liam are doing absolutely anything and everything to keep him away from the spotlight. Niall's leak doesn't seem like a leak to me. I told the same thing with Harry's apparent magazine leak by a fan a day before it was supposed to be out. Okay, so another thing, we aren't being blamed anymore for these leaks. An article said that Harry's magazine was put a day before it was supposed to be in the bookstore and the song leak was by a radio station. So they moved on and now we're blaming organizations. Smart. It was getting boring blaming us after all, and we can't even leak stuff because we didn't know about the stuff because of the hiatus. It's like Niall and Harry are taking away the spotlight on what was supposed to happen in relation to Larry and Babygate ending. Maybe Harry didn't go to Jamaica at all, but gave us a subtle hint that he and Louie are still together by wearing that bracelet. And like Sarah said about the boys not being allowed to keep beards and stuff under Simon, is that like a subtle hint that Louie is still under Simon and or being held by Simon against his will? Plus, what's with Simon and Liam again? I thought he hated him, and now he's supposedly supporting Shiam's baby and wants to be the godfather? He went from supporting all the boys, to hating Harry and Liam, to shading Liam, then supporting Harry and Louie, basically kissing their ass and acting as a victim, and now he's kissing Liam's ass or being sarcastic. His mood swings are giving me whiplash. He definitely is holding something against Louie. I don't know if it's something about the band or Larry or his family. This includes everyone in the band, his mates, etc. It's like we're back to square one where one of the boys do something wrong and Simon's covering for them in relation to Harry and what's been happening with the nail polish and the new Womanizer article. Regarding the leaks, I've kind of noticed that too. In the past, the media would always blame us for leaking a song, leaking pictures, etc. Then again, the boys are on hiatus, so how would we even know that stuff is happening? We couldn't have leaked it. So thank God we're not being blamed for that anymore. And regarding Simon, I don't even know what's up with him. Nobody likes him. Simon's always gonna hate somebody, then he's gonna come back and kiss their ass. He definitely plays favoritism. But Simon is very sly, very sneaky. He's just someone who 
I don't think you can really trust. Like, yeah, he might have kissed up to Harry and Louis now, but he's probably gonna turn his back on them later on. I feel like if you don't give Simon what he wants, he's basically just going to drop you and talk bad about you because he didn't get his way. And I almost feel like the boys had a fear of that in the beginning, so they did everything Simon said. They were the puppets. But because One Direction are older now, they're smarter, they know how the industry works, they probably have a better team of people telling them things. They're like, no, we don't give a shit. That's probably why they moved to Capitol Records, the competing record label with Simon's. I'm sure that was the best move they could probably do. And now on to my last topic, we're gonna talk about Louie and Brianna. I actually haven't talked about them in a while on this channel. Well, at least it feels like it. So basically, it seems like Brianna has another boyfriend. And I mean, this is kind of no surprise, because as we all know, Louie and Brianna are not together. They just supposedly had a child together. So obviously, there's no relationship. The media wants us to think that Louie's real girlfriend is Danielle, not Brianna. So if Louie has another girlfriend, well, maybe Brianna has another boyfriend. I am in no position to say what Brianna should do, but I feel like if she has this child and Louie is the supposed father, I feel like Louie and her should be raising the baby instead of Brianna and another guy or Louie and another girl. But I think when it comes down to it, I think the only person who should really be with the baby is Brianna because it is hers. She gave birth to it. So I think whether Louie's there or not, as long as Freddie gets the exposure to his actual mother, I think that's the most important thing. So this is a supposed pic of Brianna and her real boyfriend. And it says, the mother of Louis Tomlinson's son appears to have found love again. It says, Jake is a singer in the band after Romeo and the son claims the pair met through mutual friends. Hold up, can we just take a minute to look at how this motherfucker spells his name? His name is Jake and he spells it J-A-Y-K. What the hell? Whatever, as long as she's happy. So that's all the news for today. If you have any questions, comment below or you can go on my Twitter because I retweet a lot of theories there. And like always, I make a video whenever I want, so like and subscribe. All my social media is down in the description, and I will see you guys later. Bye.